And of course, all real estate is local. And today's report on home sales showed that some regions are stronger than others. The Northeast, for example, saw the biggest increase in sales in August, while the West actually saw a decline. Joining us now, two realtors who are on the front lines in those two areas. From the Northeast, it's Buddy West. He's president of Emory Hill Residential in Wilmington, Delaware. And from the West, Courtney Hall with Keller Williams in Burbank, California. Welcome to both of you. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Courtney, as it happens, Sue and I grew up in the area where you work now, and I'm very well aware that it can be a, sometimes a very hot market, sometimes a very cold market. Right now, I hear you have a reluctance of buyers. Why, what's going on there? Well, I think that the buyers are just a little more cautious right now. They are worried that they're buying at the height of the market. Um, so they're just a little more hesitant. So the affordability the issue is, is, is playing into it here, I guess. Absolutely, absolutely. And Buddy, what about in your neck of the woods? I believe you're down in Delaware, beautiful state. Yes. Uh, but the Northeast, Thank you. the Northeast also saw the loss of state and local uh, tax deductions in many states. Uh, how are things in your neck of the woods? Well, it's interesting. Delaware is is very interesting because you have northern Delaware, southern Delaware. Southern Delaware is on the ocean. It's a big place for people to retire. It's on the beach, and, and obviously the, the demand is, is very high. When you come north, it's a little slower on, on the, uh, on the, on the uh, rise. However, we're so close to Philadelphia, Baltimore, Washington, and New York. We're the hub. So they're the places that are really doing incredibly well, and we're picking up some of that uh, business as well. Every time I pass through Delaware, it seems like there's more construction going on. Do you have a lot going on there, do you? Well, it's, that's, a, that's what our, our, state, uh, our state thing is, the uh, blacktop is basically our state item. They're, they're constantly redoing the roads. Courtney, what about the quality of the homes that are for sale? I mean, we all know that it's expensive to live in California, and if you're moving from mm -hmm. An out of state, out of state uh, into California, you can get some sticker shock. So, with the inventory that's available, what are buyers telling you? So, I think that's part of what slowed is the home sales is the quality of the inventory right now. You know, when a home is of good quality, it goes really quickly. You know, there will be a couple offers over the asking price and it will go quickly. You know, not as many offers as there was last year. Last year we were seeing 10 and 12 on one home. Mm. Uh, this year you'll get, you know, three to four on those good quality homes. But I think one reason that it's slowed is the quality of the inventory that's out there has declined a little bit. And, mm -hmm. you know, the prices are sometimes they're a little overpriced and things like that and so the buyers are a little more hesitant. We anecdotally according we've heard that Asian buyers uh, aren't coming in as much as they have there on the west coast. Are you seeing that at all in your part of Los Angeles? Um, I I don't know if I'm allowed to comment on the demographics of home buyers ethically. Um, I don't I don't know. Well, um, where, where do a lot of your buyers come from? I mean, as Sue mentioned, out of state, you know, when they come to California, they often will get sticker shock. But uh, coming from other I parts find, of the world, I wonder if that's the case uh, as well. Yeah, there is. Um, so I will say that, you know, a lot of people are more so moving out of state right. than coming into state. Most of my buyers in Burbank and the surrounding areas, they work for the studios. They work, you know, in the movie industry and things like that. And that's where most of my buyers are coming from. And they're first and second time buyers from those industries, but I do see a good amount of buyers from other places, not necessarily out of state, but even, even out of the country. Yeah. Buddy, talk to me about the tax situation. You're in Delaware, a tax right. advantaged state. Have you seen a migration from high tax states down into Delaware? Has that been a factor in fueling the move in your real estate market? Yes, we have. As a matter of fact, the surrounding states, the quality of life here and the cost of living is much, uh, much lower than most of our surrounding states. But interestingly enough, there's a lot of still international money coming into our state. And we're so close, like I said, so close to Philadelphia, 35 miles away. Uh, a lot of that is, is coming in. It's just great. And I think it's a generational item as well. A lot of millennials now are starting on the move to get into their house. Have you, is this the beginning of a pickup for you, buddy? Uh, you know, we're talking about nationally that we had a kind of a sluggish market overall uh, right. this summer, but it sounds like you haven't had that situation. 
We, we've been, like Delaware is, is coming out now. It's coming out, it's going up a little bit at a time. But now, if, if you look at it, it's based on jobs creation. And obviously, we've created um, you know, triple figure jobs in the last uh, probably 18, 20 months. So, with that happening, there's more employment, unemployment's 3.7. So, all these factors are, are going to help. More companies are moving uh, into the Northeast. So, we, we think that's going to be a really, really vibrant market in the next, in the next six to 18 months. Mark. Buddy West from Emory Hill Residential, Courtney Hall from Keller Williams Thank Burbank. You. Thank you both for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thanks for having us.